Hey guys, welcome to uh, Dog Will Fix It. And I'm back with the X5, as you can see, needs a wash. But um, latest issue I've hit, right? Let's have a look at the back. Is that the, the air suspension, so these cars have air suspension uh, for the back rear tires. And in the mornings when I come out, the back is sagging, it's fully down, like right on the ground. Um, and then as soon as I open the driver's side door, I hear the air compressor kick in and the car the back of the car raises back up so that brings me to the conclusion that the air suspension or some component of it is leaking um, so i've been trying to figure out how to um, find out what is leaking so each side if we have a look i don't know if i can zoom in let me try and zoom in on this side so this is the passenger rear you can see there's an airbag can you see that thing here hold on you see i've already put a bit of water and i'm going to show you what to do Hold on, let me see if I can hold that there, right? And then I sort of tell you so you know what I'm talking about. So this is the back bait brake back plate. This thing is the airbag that raises this side of the car up, uh, the driver's side, and there's one on each side in the, at the rear on these X5s. This is the E70. Okay, so either the airbags are leaking, or let's have a look, let's go around. Or there's a leak so this is the driver's side okay there's a problem with one of these now taking the panel if you can see this oh, let me get the light so here's the air compressor right here and you can see here this is a solenoid uh, this is for each color goes to one side so I think this goes to the this goes to the driver's side this goes to the passenger side so if there's a leak in one of these tubes, for example, then you'll lose air in the, in the, in the air suspension as well. Okay, um, here's the air compressor. If I can just, and that's actually quite expensive to replace, but it seems to be working okay. But the problem is, is if it keeps having to kick in to fill up the, the, the suspension bags, then it's going to wear out quick. So this is the solenoid, and this controls the airflow from the compressor. Uh, it goes into here and it splits it from to the left side and to the right side on the rear So the air comes from the compressor on this black cable. You can see it connected up there And it goes into the back side of this right just down here. You can see it going around the back And then each side gets filtered out to each side of the car on the rear So I checked these they seem okay, but I'm gonna have a look at The airbags on the back to see if there's a leak. It's quite common that they leak after eight nine years of seams They leak by the seam. So we're gonna have a quick look at that. So let's go and check the way to do it is this okay? What you do? Okay, you get Get one of these empty obviously fill it up with some fairy liquid water. Let me get the torch Okay, and what we want to do is we want to spray it oh, If I can get a good angle on the light there you go. We want to spray it on that airbag at the back and you can see it. Um, now I suspect it is this side because this side sags a little bit more and eventually they're both at the floor on the ground. But I'm suspecting this side is causing the major issue. So we're going to sh I'm going to show you how to try it. And that is... If I just put this on. Okay, so we're in position. You can see the airbag at the back. Now remember, the airbag is this thing. I'm going to put my hands in and touch it. It's this, it's this thing here. This thing. Okay, this is the airbag for the driver's side. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and spray some liquid on it. Fairy liquid like I told you. Can you see that? And you can see, look. I just want to zoom in. Can you see the bubbles there, look. See that? So it's leaking air. You can see it's leaking air. The fairy's blowing out. So this side, the driver's side, is actually leaking air out, which is why the suspension is losing air. And then in the morning when you fire the car up, or you, even before you fire the car up, you open the driver's side, the compressor kicks in to recharge, to refill up the bags. So the car's back at the normal ride height. So in the morning when I come out, it'll be at the, it, the car basically touching the ground, nearly, you know, 10 centimeters, 20 centimeters off the ground. Oh, I lost my light. Oh, I lost my light. But there you go, you can see, you can see it's leaking air on this side. So that's how you check. Give it a fairy liquid in a spray bottle. You need to get it in a spray bottle so you can actually spray it into the airbag and, and then wait. And you can see how it's collected. You see the bubbles all collecting. They're still going, even though I've got no light on. 
So I'll put the lighting on this. Here you go. All right. So you can see it's just created a huge mound underneath the airbag with the air is just coming out of the airbag into the liquid. So that's the leak. So the question is, is how do you fix it? Basically, the airbag's got to be replaced. And that's another video, another time, if I can even do it. I'm not sure if I can do it. Like I said, I'm not like a mechanical expert, but I can figure most things out. Um, I'd have to jack the car up, take this wheel off, and then uh, disconnect the bag, make sure that the make sure that the car is fully jacked so it's not weighing on the suspension or anything like that. You've got to jack the body up, right? Uh, and take the wheel off and then you can try and replace it. This has got a third row seat so that it's a bit more difficult maybe to access where you, if you just got two rows, this is a third row option on the back so I've got seven seats in this car. So it might be a bit more complicated but um, but I might give it a shot. I've lost my light but there you go. You can see what I'm saying. You can see it's bubbling out. Look, You can see the liquid's all bubbling out there. There you go. It's still going. Look, So it's leaking on this side definitely. I checked the other side already. It seems to be okay so it's basically this side um, and it doesn't look like the solenoid is leaking or the compressor so the first thing to change is to fix this leak and then see where it goes from there hopefully that will fix it like I said it's not instant it takes a good 24 hours for it to hit the ground um, so that's it really I need to buy myself an airbag which you could probably get from Euro car parts there's a company called are not um, I might put a link for them they sell airbags or they make the bag replacements for these cars um, and uh, maybe I'll buy one of them and see if I can get it replaced Thanks for watching. Peace out. Hit the video. Hit the like. Hit the sub. Catch you guys in the next one.